Hi, I'm Patricia Kelly. I'm the widow of the dancer, director, choreographer, Gene Kelly. He was amazing. He was an extraordinary talent and a real brain. I mean, that's what's so interesting. And he would be 100 years old this year, and so we've been celebrating. And I don't really like to look at it as Gene Kelly dead in 100. I like to look at it as Gene Kelly cool and still relevant and still inspiring young people and probably a lot of the people you'll see tonight. So, And he really wanted to be known not so much as a performer, but as a creator, as the guy behind the camera camera as the one who was changing the look of dance on film and I think we can give him some credit for that. I have a lot of favorites. I think that uh, some of them are so innovative, the things that really broke new ground like the alter ego number in Cover Girl and that was the first time you ever saw dollying and panning and double exposure. The newspaper dance and summer stock I think is wonderful and I, how do you top the roller skating number and it's always fair weather. It's so charming when he sings and that, that smile and those twinkling eyes. And, but I, and Jerry the Mouse, uh, I got rhythm with the kids. I mean, I think living in a big way, I mean, the construction side and living in a big way, that was actually Martha Graham's favorite number of all of his. So it's hard to choose. I, but I, I do like, and I like Three Musketeers. That was often what he would say was his favorite. So. I think he'd be very happy for it because, as you may know, Gene did television specials, Pontiac TV specials in the 1950s, and he and Fred Astaire were the only two who had dance on television, and it was one of Gene's big things. That was one of the reasons why he did Invitation to the Dance was really an homage to dancers around the world because at that time you couldn't turn on your television and see dance every minute of every day. And now I, it's extraordinary that you can. And I think he'd be very pleased at that and that, that you can see someone from the Royal Danish Ballet while you're here in Los Angeles and just at the turn of a knob. So it's, um, yeah, I kind of wish you were around to see this explosion because it's really what he wanted.